cheetahs don't just live in Kenya. They don't just live in Somalia. They cross the borders. So these countries need to communicate with each other, work together to create a cooperative plan so that the cheetahs, wherever they may roam, are safe. What SAFE did was raise over $40,000 to help fund the workshop and help get the people all in the same room, where all these different people that create the laws and create the protocols to work together to create a unified conservation plan to help save the cheetah. I got to see pretty much anything you'd want to see when you go to Africa, whether you're a birder or a mammal person. I saw elephants, rhinos, secretary bird, quarry bustards, zebra, giraffe, dick dick were everywhere like squirrels. Um, I was also participating in the workshop with some painted dog AZA safe delegates and watching them see painted dogs, which is probably one of their favorite animals, was one of the highlights of my time there. They were so excited to watch them waking up and getting ready to go for a hunt, watching the young dogs wake up the parents to go get excited uh, for the hunt in the evening. So um, that was a moving experience. When I get to go and experience these things and speak to the people who are on the ground doing the conservation work, they have first-hand knowledge of what these animals are doing and where they're living and how they're functioning alongside humans. It lets me bring back that information and speak from a place of true experience and true knowledge about what's going on there in the wild. It's so easy to think of, oh, that's so over there, that's not my problem, but um, when you get to speak to the other people and see the people going through these hardships and, and still working hard to save the, the, the animals that are in their backyard, uh, it makes you want to do stuff at home. And it can be very intimidating, it can be overwhelming to think, how can I save an entire endangered species? Even though you may think, oh, my two or five dollars doesn't go very far, in Kenya, that kind of money can go very far. Starting somewhere with a little bit, those effects can ripple out and go much further than you might expect. If you don't know something, you're not gonna to wanna to save it. When people can come here and meet Dapper and meet Donovan up close and maybe even hear them purr, it's gonna create that heartfelt connection. It's gonna create something that people want to know more about, that want to save and see and have their kids save for future generations. So if you come to the Memphis Zoo and come and meet Dapper and Donovan or come to talk to me about my experiences in Africa, I hope that we can inspire you to want to make change and to want to do your little part to help save animals around the world.